Stockpile Hobbies. Welcome back to Stockpile Hobbies, everyone. My name is Steve. I got my son Enzo with me. And today we are going to be looking at these flight stands made by Larkin from Larkin's Lair. He 3D printed these for the Ark and for the Nemesis. So I want to do a quick review of them. I think they're awesome. So let's do a quick review of these Enzo and uh, check them out. Yeah. So I purchased these from Larkin's uh, Etsy store. I'll have links in the description. Please check out his YouTube channel and please check out his Etsy store. Subscribe to his channel. He makes a lot of great parts for the Transformers, accessories, and other things. I bought a couple of things from him before in the past. These he just released, and as soon as I saw them, I had to have them. Uh, my big thing with these two ships are the ships look amazing, but the robot modes are kind of, eh, you know. Like, but, like that guy. Yeah. But these flight stands are awesome. Uh, they both have these takeoff adapter pieces. This one's for the ARC, as you saw at the beginning of the video. It lets it mount on there in flight mode. And we have another one for the Nemesis, which we have not even opened yet. We're going to get to that in a second. Yeah. But it's real simple how this works. It's real clever. All that happens here is this piece here, this cup, just kind of goes right there on the ship. Oh, that's what it does. Just like that. And then I only have one hand at the moment, but you just put it on here, just like that. Real slick. Can I do it with one hand? Look at that. Wow. Yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, give some scale here. Let's get a transformer here. We got one of the one of the secret jets, so you get an idea of the height of this thing. I'll get a measurement of it in a second here. But these are really light. They're really nice quality. He has a, he has a great 3D printer, I gotta say. Um, and the tolerance he, he has on these is really good no play at all really professionally done uh, I like the the beveled edges here Ooh. on the back of the stand looks really nice as you see it's completely enclosed Ooh. and looks great and of course it has nemesis with the Decepticon symbol for the nemesis ship and arc and the Autobot symbol for the arc ship so it's about nine inches tall both of the bases just the adapter pieces are different heights and it's about seven inches across for the base, not including the, the wings on the end for support. Uh, really, really slick. I love how these look. Uh, I think we should get the Nemesis out now, Enzo, and uh, get this on the flight stand as well. Let's crack it open. Yeah. And as you see, we got the Nemesis out of the box. I went to a couple minutes. Yeah. And the last adapter here goes into the slots right here, just like that. And then this will go on to the base. Wow, that looks cool. <laughs> uh, I think these stands are a must-have. That sets them off nicely, especially for the Nemesis, because it has this dorsal fin down here. The only w other way you could stand the Nemesis up was to have it going vertically, like I showed in the last uh, shot there. But like this, this looks amazing. Holy cow. Wow, we can reenact Beast Wars, Enzo. The end of yeah. Beast Wars when the Nemesis is attacking. That looks awesome. I can't tell how you how I can't tell you how happy I am with these. These look amazing. They get the ships up in the air, and it's just gonna be a blast down here on the table with all the Transformers having these up in the air like this. Um, to give you another comparison here, Enzo, why don't you grab Scorponok over there? And as you can see, next to Scorponok here, they're just about to his elbows in height. So off the table there, and as I mentioned before, there's a regular Seeker Jet. Here is a Masterpiece Optimus Prime as well, get an idea of scale. So the flight stands are actually about the size of a Masterpiece MP10 Optimus Prime. I know we have the Shattered Glass version here, but uh, it gives you a good idea of scale here and everything. And do we have a little guy? Even with the, the little guys here, oh, there you go. Oh, why not? One more. He'll stand. No. They never there we did. go. So uh, these are really nice. Um, yeah. I'm really happy with this purchase. Uh, please check out Larkin Layers website. Please check out Larkin Layers Etsy store. Check out all the cool products he has. Get yourself some flight stands. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to us. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this quick review. And we hope to see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Well, Enzo, I think the only thing left to do now is to have a battle. Yeah. <laughs> That's just amazing. Really cool.
I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller, the size of Zark, but it's actually way bigger than that. The Nemesis? Yeah. So this is our first time seeing Nemesis out of the box. I noticed right away, too, I know we didn't do a review of Nemesis, but it, it's heavier than the Ark. There's a lot more weight to it. Uh, I gotta say, I like the detail of the Nemesis better. I've been waiting a long time for an, a Nemesis ship. I've always wanted to see this ship. Uh, it's just, it's in a lot of the lore, a lot of the cartoons. It has, it's featured more prominently. I know we always see the back of the Ark. It's where the Autobots headquarters was, but the Nemesis was a, featured in a lot of the major events in Beast Wars and in the original series with the Insecticons coming out of them. And it's great to finally have it and not, and have it off the table flying, looking awesome. Uh, great purchase.